I love not having to make a depressing Miami Hurricane video, and it looks like that's going to be the case today as Miami's up 28-7 to at halftime. But I wanted to talk to you guys about two things. First of all, just a good all-around game for the team, right? We, we, we see the score. We see how they're playing. Don't got to go too much into that until after the game. But I did want to come over here and say that it looks like Jacoby George and Bashar Smith was suspended for the first quarter. The first quarter, you saw Isaiah Horton. You did not see Jacoby George. You did not see Brashard Smith. And what I'm assuming is it was because of, at the end of the Louisville game, Jacoby George got a, a personal foul penalty, and so did Brashard Smith. And on my video, I said, look, Mario Cristobal, you're either coaching it or you're allowing it. Mario said in a press conference, this culture is not about doing that. We're not going to do that. So how does he respond? He benches them the first quarter of the game. And I say, bravo, Mario. Soon we're going to have the depth where we can do that more often, where if you make a mistake, you got to pay for it because you cannot do this. Rashard Smith has done this a couple times this year. So bravo for Mario for putting his foot down and taking them out for the first quarter. Now, I got to say, Jacoby George, Bravo to you. He's had a hell of a second quarter. Should have had a touchdown. He dropped the pass. But besides that, he's caught, I believe, three touchdowns for about 72 yards, 64 yards after catch. You can, When you get benched or when you get disciplined, you can either mope around, no kind of energy. As soon as he came in, they called a play for him, which I like by the, by the offensive coordinator, by Dawson. You know that this player isn't happy he's sent down. What do you do the first play of the second quarter? You run a pop pass, get the ball into his hands. He ends up uh, getting a big game, uh, caught a couple other passes that led us into scoring. Um, so looking at that whole situation, I think the coaches handled it well. Most importantly, I like how the players responded and said, you know what? I'm still going to ball out. Brashard Smith, he's had one uh, pass catching attempt. He dropped it. It was a low pass. He dropped it. But Jacoby George came out second quarter and balled out. So great response by both of them. Secondly, we see that the offense has put up 28 points. And I'm already getting text messages. I'm already seeing people say Shannon Doss is dialing it up. Did you see how he was running the ball? He set up the play action. Like I said, it should have been a touchdown. But also we had the uh, flea flicker, the um, the pop pass. This offense is looking good. Guys, we got to stop 90%. And when I say all of us, I don't mean everybody. But it seems to me that when this offense is doing good, people say, look what Dawson's doing good. Look at Dawson. But when the offense does bad, it's, I knew Mario took over the play calling. Things changed. Mario changed. Mario's, he's handicapping Dawson. That's what they say. All I want is consistency. You know how I feel. This is Dawson's offense, and things changed when Tyler Van Dyke started to turn the ball over. Speaking of Tyler Van Dyke, first of all, you see him doing the little things right, not turning over the ball. You see him scrambling, showing a little bit of mobility. He's missed a couple touchdowns, but he's also not put the ball in harm's way. And when you do not put the ball in harm's way, this Miami Hurricanes team has a very good chance of winning. Boston College, they're 6-5 and five on the season. Not the greatest team, but remember, they did come back against Florida State, so Miami has to be locked in, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the first half and just the whole suspension thing and the whole offensive play calling thing. I'm out. I'll see y'all at the end of the game. Peace.